Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and install Ubisoft Connect, which is the Ubisoft game launcher, and how to get this working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac using the compatibility layer called Crossover. So this is going to allow you to run Windows games on the M1 Mac. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe button. It really helps this channel out and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So the first step is going to be to click the link at the top of the description for my affiliate link for Crossover. If you do make a purchase through this link, then you'll be helping to support the channel and the work that I do. So once you get to the Crossover page, what you can do is to scroll down here and then you can click the Try Now button. And this is going to give you a 14 day free trial where you can test out the full functionality of Crossover. If you do decide to purchase, then please click my affiliate link and click the buy now button. If you use the coupon code Apple Gaming Wiki and click apply here, then you'll get a 25% discount off your crossover purchase. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be using the trial. So I'm gonna click the try now button. Now all I need to do is to enter my name and email address and I can click the download trial now button. So crossover will begin a download process. This file is 340 megabytes in size. So please wait a moment for that to complete. So once crossover has completed downloading, we're gonna to go to finder and I'm gonna open our downloads folder and we're going to open up crossover. So I'm going to double click on here and this has extracted the crossover application into the downloads folder. And then what we're going to do is to drag this into our applications folder and then let go. And now when I look at my applications folder, I'm going to scroll down and then find the crossover application. And what we're going to do here is to double click on crossover. Crossover is going to give this option menu here. We're going to press open. And then what we're gonna do is press the try now button. So if you've already purchased this, what you can do is click the unlock with purchase info, but today we're gonna to be using the trial. Here we're gonna press try now. So now we have entered the crossover main menu. So what we're gonna do here is to click install a Windows application. So here we have the option of installing Steam or Uplay. And we're gonna be using Uplay today because I'm gonna be using Assassin's Creed Rogue using the U Plus subscription service. So this is gonna apply specifically for this version. However, you could equally use the Steam version too. So what I've done is I've done a search for Uplay and we're just checking the installer settings here. It's going to install in a Windows 10 64-bit bottle, which is a little bit different from the Steam default installation but nevertheless, we're gonna press the install button and it's gonna go ahead and install and download the Uplay installer and Crossover handles all of the dependencies that you need. And once it's ready, we have the window pop up here. We'll just press okay with the language selection here. Here we're gonna press I accept and then we're gonna install it in the default location, install and just let this application install for you. Then press next and then press finish. So this is gonna start up Ubisoft Connect so this window has now opened. So what you can do is to go ahead and log into your Ubisoft account. Or if you don't have an Ubisoft account, you can go ahead and create a free account. This is completely free. However, you're gonna to need to buy the games that are part of the launcher. So once you've typed in your username and password, what we're gonna do is skip here for two-step verification. And then we're gonna let the Ubisoft Connect window load. So you might notice that in the background, it's still saying that it's installing, even though it's now fully installed. To get the crossover wizard to complete, I'm gonna go ahead and close the Ubisoft Connect window, and then it's going to confirm with crossover that the installation process has finished. So here I'm just going to reload Ubisoft Connect from my bottle in crossover, and we're just gonna load this up again. So we've now loaded up the Ubisoft Connect main menu, and I've got all of my games that are listed under my Ubisoft account. However, I'm just going to go ahead and add a game under Ubisoft Plus, which is the subscription service because today I want to test out Assassin's Creed Rogue. So I'm just gonna show you how to load up an Ubisoft Plus game and then get it running on the M1 Mac. So to find a game, I'm gonna to go to the store tab and then type in the word Rogue and that's gonna get us Assassin's Creed Rogue. So I'm gonna click see more here. And this game is included under Ubisoft Plus. So I'm gonna download this now. Another way of finding it is under the Ubisoft Plus tab. And if you search for the specific game, you can go ahead and just press the download button there. It'll download the game directly. So now Assassin's Creed Rogue is gonna go through its installation process. I'm gonna press continue here, and then I'm just gonna let it install in its default location, and press continue. Now we're gonna accept and continue the terms and conditions. Now it's going to go ahead and start downloading the entire game. So just let that run. It's gonna depend on the speed of your internet connection. 
So once the download is complete, then we're going to be ready to press play on the game. However, before you run any DirectX 10 or 11 game, what I do recommend that you do is go to the crossover bottle. So this is our Ubisoft Connect bottle here. I'm going to hold down the control key and then click on the bottle. And then we're going to navigate to settings and then make sure that DXVK backend for D3D 11 is turned on. This is going to allow us to use Molten VK to get DirectX 10 or 11 games working on the Metal Graphics API. So we just make sure that that is ticked before we press the play button here. So now I'm going to press play on Assassin's Creed Rogue and now it's going to go ahead and install its dependencies. So it's installing the DirectX runtime as well as some other installation dependencies. So once you've got the game installed you're going to be able to launch it and as you can see we can actually run Assassin's Creed Rogue on the M1 Mac even though this is a Windows only game and you can get plenty of other Ubisoft games working through crossover using this method. However, not every single game is going to work, so I do recommend that you check out the Apple Gaming Wiki website. If you'd like to find out more about games that are compatible for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, then please make sure to check out the M1 Compatible Games Master List. I'll leave a link to this in the description. This contains a really long list of games which are compatible through the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, whether it's running natively through ARM, through Rosetta 2, or one of the compatibility layers such as Crossover or Parallels. So please check it out, I'll leave a link to this in the description. Please also make sure to check out the Apple Gaming Wiki YouTube channel. This contains a playlist of game benchmarks that I performed on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac and there are literally hundreds of games which I've tested. So please check this out. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.